Hello, boys and girls, this is Adish Gil, of course, and welcome back to another case opening video. If you think I sound weird, that is, that's because Gamescom definitely took its toll on me. Oh my god, I just wanted to do some easy video. I, I, I'm gonna kind of take a vacation now for like a week or two, so you're not gonna see super many CSGO videos, at least uh, the next couple of days. I might do some, because sometimes I just get bored when I'm having a vacation, and uh, I, wanna, I wanna do some YouTubing stuff, if you know what I mean. But I thought I would, would do just a little bit of a case opening and see if I can, can get something nice whilst I talk with you guys and just tell you a little bit about Gamescom, so... Yeah, Gamescom. Oh my god, I am I'm so tired. I am so so tired. As you can hear my voice is completely dead, so it's gonna be nice to to rest it. The only uh the only thing else I'm gonna do today is record some uh, seven days to die. Uh because we got that scheduled today. The rest of like a week forward now, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing with my voice. Uh because I'm so screwed. But I've had so much fun. So many of you guys came and said hello. So many of you guys came and uh, took pictures with me. Uh, si I signed autographs and all that good stuff. I got to even talk with a lot of you guys for like uh, a couple of minutes. Sometimes like five or ten minutes even. And it feels so nice to not have to just like sign the next person. Sign next person. You know how it is at a lot of conventions. It was like really chill and nice. We're getting absolutely no luck here whatsoever. <laughs> A few pink, a few purples only. Oh man, I thought, oh, hey, damn it. God damn it, Gaben. Fucking trick me. I thought I was gonna get the Muertos actually. Um, I haven't opened any cases in such a long time, so I, I guess I kind of mis misjudged the speed. But yeah, what was I was talking about? Yeah, YouTube. Uh, but but also I'm opening the Chroma 1 cases. I don't think I've gotten a single knife out of the Chroma 1 cases yet. So that's why I'm opening, I don't think it's a hundred of them. I think it's like, yeah, it's like 50 or something like that, I believe. 50 or something similar to that. So hopefully we're gonna get something nice. It is 50 after all, it's not super little. But this time I'm not gonna edit it or anything like that, I'm just gonna talk. So, sorry, I, I know a lot of people like uh, like the edited stuff uh, way more than, than the long ones. But I have a lot of stuff to talk about. So, yeah, first of all, like, uh, me, uh, Doc M, uh, my good friend Doc M, my good friend Coralis, and my very good friend Generic B as well. We all ended up in the same hotel room, like... Uh, kind of like a, a, a sweet suite or whatever you call it, like a pretty big hotel room that we shared together and we had so much fun. Like one of the nights we invited a bunch of other YouTubers like uh, Kevin Tweedy, and we had Proxy Fox, Ren Dog, Assy and Shaboy, but only Shaboy showed up as he, as he was hangover and tired. <laughs> so that pussy, he was sleeping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fun, fun of him so long for that because he's always like, oh, I'm gonna out, out drink you, Anders. We Scottish people, we can drink more than you Swedish people, but holy shit though, as he, he, he told me he is tall, but he is actually probably a little bit taller than me, and he had like, a enormous fucking biceps, like, you think Tweedy has big biceps, you, you wanna look at, at fucking, uh, as you, man, my god, I mean, Shaboy is a fit guy as well, but he's pretty short compared to me and Assy, but, like, I'm not used to people being as tall as me, so I was so surprised when I saw Assy. Uh, first time meeting Generic B as well, Generic B, uh, you, you guys remember from the Minecraft server, uh, met him, or, like, started hanging out, or talking with him, hanging out, it's, it's so weird saying that, because I, this is the first time I literally met him in real life, so to say, uh, but, like, talking with him on Skype and that kind of stuff, like, two, three years ago, so been good friends with him online for a long time so finally meeting him in person and he is the exact same way in person he's like the derpy uncle that has these weird jokes and knows all these weird stuff like oh my god i'm, I'm gonna give you one word and it it was shrimping <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that, man? If you want to, you can Google it. It's not that dirty. Don't don't worry about it. But it involves toes and stuff. And oh my god, he's such a fucking funny guy. He is literally the funny uncle kind of a guy. Like, it's so immensely amounts of fun, man. Oh, so much fun. So sharing, first of all, just sharing the same uh, same um, hotel with them was amazing. Since it was a big hotel room, we weren't like in each other's way or anything like that. Everyone got to sleep good. Except Doc, maybe. Uh, 
he said I did wake him up snoring a couple of times. Uh, well, uh, the first night, uh, he woke me up. Basically, like, we, we were sleeping in the same bed, like a big king-sized bed, and then we had, a, like, a pillow wall in between us, so we wouldn't, like, roll on to each other, or rather, like, so I wouldn't roll over him and crush his poor ass. <laughs> No, Doc is a tall guy as well, but he's way more skinny than me. So, like, I'm the last guy you want rolling over you like uh, some goddamn wall rush, if you know what I mean. Uh, but, yeah, he, he he rolled over and, and, like, put his face kind of close to mine. So, so it's almost like this, you can whisper. And then he started whispering my name, like, Anders, Anders, wake up, you're snoring, Anders. And, like, the first thing I see when I wake up in this hotel I've never been at before, in this bed I've never slept in before, is his goddamn face, like, inches in front of my face and I'm like what what the fuck do you want what the fuck do you want and he's like roll over roll over I'm like why do I need to roll over I'm like freaking out and he just starts laughing and laughing and both the uh, Corrales and generic I think even got woken up by that I think it was eight like eight or nine in the morning so it wasn't a big deal but, but like oh my god it was so fucking funny holy shit because I freaked the hell out like I'm, I'm not really a person in the beginning when I wake up it takes me a little bit before I actually like really wake up and and like know where the fuck I am and know what's going on so I freaked the hell out man holy crap dude have we gotten anything good I feel like I'm clicking here and like have we even gotten a single pink I don't think so man not a sing man this chroma one cases Gaben why are you doing this to me acquired no man absolutely nothing good look at this one two Three, four purple. Oh my god, this is like the worst start of a case opening ever. That just means it probably is gonna be like the best ending ever. Hopefully we'll finally get a knife and it would be something like amazing. Like a like a 300 euro knife or something. I hope. You never know. But yeah, also I'm still Supreme uh, Master First Class as you can see. Uh, I haven't played any CSGO. Uh, more, yeah, I did play some CSGO over at the convention because, like, that's what we were doing, like, with uh, viewers and stuff. We had competitions and, like, whoever did the best and won got some prizes and stuff like that. So it was was really fun. Uh, even if I, I was the best a couple of times, but, like, even if I was the best, like, the second guy and the third guy got the prizes instead. Like, really nice headphones and stuff. Uh, one guy that came up and took pictures and autographs and stuff uh, actually was global and he managed to be one of those like top three guys and got some some really nice headphones and that kind of stuff so he was happy oh man even why it's not like the chatterbox is worth a lot but come on i want it it's way better than all this other crappy stuff god diggity damn gaben gaben um i need to have a word with you about oh my god and then i gotta grow okay okay let's not talk about the Let's just open and let's not talk about that anymore. I think that's best. Uh, we're at a really nice dinner with NVIDIA. They, they treated us like kings again, like a neat, really nice restaurant. We talked shit and had some fun. Uh, they, they, was, they were really friendly as usual. And obviously, I actually went to their booth and said, like, thank you for the GTX challenge in person again, because, like, that was amazing. If they ever have another GTX challenge, I said, like, definitely invite me, because that, that was really, really fun. Like, holy heck, man. I enjoyed my time so so much. It was just amazing. Uh, Case King was nice as well. Like the the PCs were set up so nicely that like I could sit and play CS:GO when there weren't anyone to sign for. Because a lot of people actually visited that booth without knowing who the fuck I was or nothing. Like, some people would come up to me and start speaking German, asking stuff about, like, the booth or, like, how to play CSGO and stuff. And I was like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a YouTuber guy. I, I don't know German. Uh, you can speak with the guys with the blue shirt and because, like, we had the, like, white King, Case King shirts and, and the guys that really worked for them and knew what the fuck they were doing had the blue ones. So a lot of confusion about the hat and stuff. And because of that, I always had to, like, ask people because if they stood behind me when I, whilst I was playing I had to like stop playing sometimes and make sure like are these guys waiting for me to finish playing just so you can take my seat or are they waiting for me to finish so they can get a picture and, and like an autograph or, or, and talk to me and that kind of stuff so it was a little bit awkward but actually it was like really good I enjoyed it because like most conventions when you do signing stuff it, I'm not a big fan of the signing when you just sign and then send the person away after they've been like standing in queue for like four hours 
that feels sucky. I mean, if people want to come and meet me, they shouldn't have to wait long. They should not have to wait more than like 10 minutes, literally, that like the CSGO rounds took. And then they should be able to talk with me for at least like 30 seconds, not just like sign and then go away. Like, like hell, I've been to some stuff where, where people don't even have time to take pictures and stuff. But then usually people will like wait for you when you're done with the signing and then you can take pictures with them. But some obviously don't want to wait that long and I can't blame them. And then you kind of feel a little bit bad when you see people saying that stuff. And <laughs> I'm, so also, I'm so sorry, guys. I saw some of you derps. Oh my God, I understand why you watch my channel. <laughs> so, Anders, I tried to find you all over Gamescom and I was like, no, I did two vlogs right before Gamescom. I gave you the exact time and place where I would be. Like, you could so easily have met me. No cues, no nothing. Like, okay, may maybe sometimes there would be maybe like 10, 15 people. So it, it would take a little time before I talked with everyone. So, so like the last guy would, would, would like get the picture and stuff. But like, nothing bad, if you know what I mean. Like, totally manual and like... I don't bite and that kind of stuff, and like everyone was so normal, like no, you know like what you see on like, from Minecom, like the really cringy questions and shit, everyone was so cool, uh, one really funny thing, one guy brought uh, knickknacks, uh, like uh, two kilos of them, they're like my, my favorite uh, sh uh, chili nuts, and they only sell them in Germany now, they used to sell them here in Sweden, uh, so I, I actually special order them sometimes when I like want them, he brought a two kilo bag of that, I put the bag in the corner of the booth and some motherfucker stole it before my time was actually over So some some kid or teenager just took that fucking bag and ran basically So I felt a little bit guilty, but he I, I, I said it to him and he said it was okay He he might actually send some more in the mail and I felt so guilty then But like the thing is you don't have any good place to put your stuff like when you are there So you just you just oh nice dragon king sweet dude that looks to be factory new as well like, you, you see the wear, but that's that might actually be factory new. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice, nice. First, nice gun. I like it. Let's actually check it out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, factory new, baby. Man, I got a good eye for this kind of stuff now. I really should have, though. After, this is probably like 4,000 cases I've opened now. So, it, it, it's about time I actually, like, get stuff right, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. Oh my god, such 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 a goddamn amazing time. Holy crippity crap, man. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed, though. They had, like, removed... Uh, last time I was at Gamescom, like, Valve had this, like, outside... Like, what you call it? Not snowboarding, but... Um, when you ride waves... Holy shit, I'm feeling... Surfer, surfer stuff. Like a, a, like a dry surf machine kind of a thing. It's, it's like... Yeah, Kind of like astroturf, like fake grass, but, but like blue, that there's a little bit of water on so you can actually like slide with the board and still like ride a fake wave, so to say. And I, I really, I always wanted to try that, and this time I actually brought like shorts, uh, so I will be able to try it, but this time they didn't have it, so I was like, damn it! I, I thought that could have been such a fun video to make. They had a like, laser tag, Wargaming had an amazingly big booth. I heard so many good things about like the Wargaming parties that they were like wild as fuck. But I was so hardcore beaten up that I couldn't go to it. I was just so wrecked by the heat. And and all the Germans said too, like, yeah, do that. It's like, we can't handle this either because it's never this hot in Germany. Like, it's it's like this maybe five days a year. So, like, this is unusually hot. So I was like, yeah, I, I, I was just I was just melting as the, the, the like a half fat Swedish guy I am, man. That almost never, like, walk outside. But, man, we are getting royally screwed. Oh my god, we're getting nothing good. What is this? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whining here, guys, but I'm, I'm kind of mad, man. I got a maid. Can we open like 30, 50, like 45 or something like that? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine purples. Nah, that's a pretty good ratio, though. Almost every third is. Or every fourth, I guess. Somewhere around there is a purple, that's pretty good. And a factory new Dragon King. They're not worth a much, very much though, sadly. Man of War would have been way nicer. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's just hope we, we might finish strong. We do have more keys, I believe, of them. Or maybe we don't. Oh my god, no! No! Are those all the keys I have left? Have we opened all then? Are you kidding me? Are you are you damn kidding me, son? Is that the last? 
Oh yeah, I said around 50. We've opened all of them already. Oh my god, I went quickly. Oh yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna talk some more about games coming in upcoming videos, but it wasn't really anything important. You guys know me. I just ramble. But man, I was hoping I would get something nicer in the cases fun. Oh my god. Let's take a choir then. Holy god diggity damn. But yeah, I've, I've definitely had an amazingly good time. Uh, I hope you guys who met me had a good time. Like, like, please re like tweet the pictures. I love to see all of the pictures you guys took with me. I have already retweeted like five or six of them that I thought was like nice pictures. Uh, and so yeah, yeah, yep. guys, thank you so much. Uh, again, sorry there won't be a lot of videos, but I, I need a little bit of a vacation right now. Simply, that's 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 all it is. Nothing bad. I don't hate you guys. Don't worry. That's that's not what's happening. Actually, no. I thought I had a key for that. Is it, do I have it for the Bravo? No. Oh, dang it. Oh, I had one weird key though. What the hell was that? Oh, Winter Offensive. Ah, I don't have a case for it though. Okay, that, that explains it. Ah, never mind. But yeah, a little bit of case opening just so you guys would know what's going on with the videos and the channel. A little bit of vacation. Just gonna take it easy. There's gonna be some CSGO videos, but very few. Maybe max one to three the, the coming like two weeks. There's mostly gonna be seven days to die because those are already pre-recorded. So don't think seven days to die is taking over CSGO. It's just literally Truly, that seven days to die is pre-recorded far in advance like far far back many weeks back because we record so many episodes at a time that they lost like two weeks before we need to record more so don't be don't be mad guys don't worry more csgo will come and if you are really mad you can always unsubscribe and if you ever feel like subscribing again you are more than welcome back as usual thank you guys so very much for watching have a wonderful day bye bye